responsible for this and this boom down joke. I'm not sure Jerry Boylan knows it yet, but he heard it 12 times when the jury was pulled. And it's got a sink in the For me, I just want the world to know it. I hope that sometime he'll realize that he was guilty and responsible. if you do not follow the law. And I also feel that it's important for the world to know that this was not an accident. This was, as the prosecution said, it was a roll of the dice every time they said uh, uh, because of the gross negligence in multiple counts. The, the night watch, the training, the drilling, and the instruction, everything. And um, if I am relieved, that's an understatement. Yes. <laughs> but that is an understatement. And there is one more thing here that I, I know I wanted to say at the very end to make it more accurate. Yes. Yes. May this verdict serve to strengthen laws and captain's behaviors in order to prevent future tragedies like this devastating fire in the conception. And in this way, we pray, you know, Loved ones did not die in vain. It's all we can ask for. It's all we can ask for. Yeah. It's all we can ask for. Yeah. I know um, the Coast Guard still hasn't enacted some of the things that you're pushing for. Yes. Is, is today the end or is today no. another? No. no, there's more to come. And it, and yes, there's a lot more to come from the Coast Guard. There's a lot more to come in. It's just, you cannot have complacency when people's lives are on the line. Yeah. Yeah. Period. No yeah. excuses, not just because it's always been done that way, because I didn't know, because my boss told me this, because I'm getting a day wage. Those are not excuses to put people's lives in danger. Period. Yeah. So, but there's, we're a really mighty group here, our advocacy 34. So we you asked about is there more to come? We are still working to get the SMS small passenger safety boat regulations through the public discussion. You know they have to. This has been going on for over a year now with the Coast Guard. We're still waiting for the final ruling. But meanwhile, because of the work we've been doing from day one, the Coast Guard and a lot of uh, small vessel companies have been putting better practices um, into action, which they had not been doing before this horrible, horrible tragedy and disaster. Yeah. And I agree with my sister in law, Vicki, this was no accident. Yeah. This was a case of gross negligence by a captain who, for 30 something years, got away without obeying the law. Yeah. And and can you can you say your names and, and who are your who you related to? I'm uh, Vicki Moore. Uh, I'm related to these two people. This is my daughter oh, Kendra wow. Chan. Yeah. And my husband Scott Chan. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm Barbara Chan. Yeah. And I'm the sister of Scott and Kendra's aunt. Yeah. And you were we in met you yeah. Two weeks ago. Yeah, you you, yeah. you you were at every day of the trial, right? Oh, yes. Both of you were, yeah. Every day. Yeah. Every day. And you had a like a yeah. note taking system, right? Where you shared yes. notes about the, the yes. everything. Yes. So uh, actually uh, Kathy shared shared some of the notes once oh, for, for oh, one of the witnesses. Yeah. It was helpful. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. both um, Matt and I are the ones who keep the notes and post them to all the families because a lot yeah. of family members couldn't be here for the trial. But we were here not only for they are individual loved ones, but for all 34 who died. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. What was it like uh, just being in the courtroom for the process and just kind of how sterile it is in there? <laughs> yeah. Um, 
We have different views on yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, um, we were, how do I describe it? Uh, well, let's just say it didn't start off well when we all, when many of us had to go back and change our clothes the first day because we were wearing black. We had, oh, we had, had, we had said we were going to wear black to the trial, and then somebody got wind of that. And we were warned that that could be seen by the judge as being influencing the jury. So mm -hmm. we immediately went back to our hotels and changed up. So we were more yeah. nervous. Yeah. But right. and from my perspective, except for the moments when it was really emotional, learning about things that we didn't know about before the trial, oh, yeah, we learned I thought the process was very interesting. This, yeah. the whole, all the players, the, the defense and the government, um, lawyers, observing the judge, the clerk, the jury, they, yeah. you know, just just trying to understand the process. Yeah. Because none of us have been through this no. before. Yeah. No, no, yeah. not even been on a jury before. I don't know. And I was just, I was just struck by kind of the, the back and forth, the back and forth. And the sidebars and the objections and the I mean it was just it, it seemed to be incessant sometimes you know? yeah there as a reporter who covers a lot of trials right. there were an amazing amount of sidebars in this trial yeah. oh, some were, some judges were, don't allow sidebars at all oh but my gosh. this was like a giant sidebar yes, I can hear yeah the he called us the 20 minute sidebar today and then we all left because he just said it's it no more sidebar and then he he finished, then, but yeah. that, was the, that was the longest sidebar in the last two weeks. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, but I could, you weren't I, here every single day, right? You were here I the missed the time. two days of la of early this week. Yeah. Oh, missed Monday yeah. and Tuesday. You missed last but, week, yeah. Um, we met... Um, But, um, Maybe some other family would yeah. like to talk. Yeah. How, how how did the verdict feel? I mean, I, I could huh? feel I could there I could hear the like audible like I don't know if it, it wasn't like a gasp or like a sigh of relief, but I could just hear everybody. You know, well, it affected when people it, differently. Yeah. I yeah. sat I sat in the front row, first seat throughout this whole thing, and I thought I would feel something. And when I realized, oh, we were here for the verdict because we didn't really know we, we were coming yeah. for the verdict. We yeah. And yeah. Then, what the foreman wrote and I just thought, oh, oh. That's it. That's it. That's all there is. No, yeah. And then when he did I the poll, I went yeah, out. a lot of people yeah. just... I, I think it was just such pent up anticipation and anxiety mm -hmm. and, and worry that somehow the overwhelming preponderance of evidence and facts and witness statements would not be enough somehow. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I felt, I thought that if they were intelligent jurors, they would come to the proper conclusion, which was the only conclusion, which was that it was gross negligence. And all the stories that the defense put forward about, oh, poor Mr. Boylan, you know, he was just following the Fritzler way, and this is like somebody always blaming somebody else for their own um, bad behavior. Mm -hmm just didn't fly and at least the jury was intelligent enough but I did worry that they would be bogged down by all the exhibits and all the regulations that they might have to reread yeah <laughs> that have been given in evidence yeah the station bill the COI the loss loss um loss control protection program there were so many things that were thrown at them yeah and but they saw through it all yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. We well, want to thank you very much for following the story from the very beginning. Absolutely. It means a lot to all the families, the ones who have been here every day in LA and the ones who have not been able to be here. Yeah, it's an important case. Yes. We're glad we were able to cover and it. And setting so. precedence for the future, yeah. which is really That's important. Really, thank really you so much. Important. Thank yeah. you.